War, death, and destruction seem to be the order of the day in the Middle East. The thing that depresses me the most is the death of children. Have you seen the scores of children that Israel has killed? Surely the death of hundreds and hundreds of children should be enough for the world to put a stop to this. Well, if there's one thing we're sure of now is that Israel knows how to defend themselves. Oh, they defend themselves, those guys. Huh? Hmm? These guys should get straight A's for defending themselves. Now, we all know Israel can defend themselves, but now there are even people who are coming to the defense of Israel. People who, well, when you look at them, you're like, but you just lost the elections, what? In, anyway. And uh, we came here with um, misunderstandings of uh, why is uh, Hamas choosing the, the, the route of being so violent, because being so violent, because we don't support violence at all. But when are you planning to stop this defending of yourself? When all the Palestinian civilians are dead? I don't understand. And you would think that the most recent Nobel Peace Prize winner, Barack Obama, would stand for human rights of the civilians. But no, no. Uh, it's hard to reconcile uh, uh, Israel's legitimate uh, need to de uh, defend itself with uh, are concerned with those civilians. I guess this explains why Michelle Obama hasn't yet posted a free Palestine sticker on Instagram. Now, the truth is, Muslim people and Jewish people have more in common than they know, right? They both don't eat pork, which got me thinking, South Africa, which got me thinking, maybe there's something in pork that calms you down. Everybody have a pork chop and a joint, and let's all relax. How about that? Everyone's been weighing in on this crisis. But what annoys me the most is the hypocrisy of South Africa. That's what annoys me. The South African government has been very firm on the stance of supporting Palestine as per Nelson Mandela instruction. But when it came to Tibet, the same government was quiet, right? When it came to gay rights in, in, in Uganda, mm, 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 people were like, oh, we well, are not getting involved. I'm just saying, be consistent. The same people who advocate that Israel is entitled to the land that, is, that they owned 2,000 years ago are the same people who say black people are not entitled to the land which was stolen from them 200 years ago. I guess what I'm trying to say, South Africa, is that why can't we all just get along? But the question that I'd like to put to you is, what can we do as individuals to effect meaningful change? What can we do? Are we powerless? News that moves. ENCA.com.